and we want to, they're elves so they want a nice pale colour of flesh so we're going to go with Ungar flesh I think which is palest, no Kislev flesh we're going to go with so we'll get a little bit on the on the brush and just give a, a quick going over and I will be doing a wash of Ibrox Earthshade after this so you won't necessarily see I mean, what you won't necessarily see what I'm on about it won't be as flat what I meant to say There's one done. Uh, yeah. The two brothers, the two brothers, legal ass and legal aid. <laughs> okay, never mind. Here we are. So skin tone's nearly done. There we go. Skin tone's done. I'm going to have to go over the head gear again. So um, I'm not really worried about uh, any paint that gets on it. Uh, in fact, I'll I'll do that now before I forget. Otherwise, I'll think I've finished and then notice marks on the head. It shouldn't be there. So where did I go wrong here? There we are, just by the just by the face and round the ear. There we are. And with you it was new enough all over. Because I've got some red. as bad as I thought. Never mind. Okay now let's get the um, thingy done. And Iron Breaker, which I said in previous videos is the new version of Bogle Metal. I checked on the Games Workshop site last night and it's not, it's the new version of Chainmail. So I got myself a little bit mixed up. It's Chainmail, it's not Bogle Metal. We're just using this to go over the arrow head. I'm not fussing about this, to be honest. It's, uh, it's only a small piece of the model. So what I'm going to do now is, um, with the chain mill, just go over some of the, because um, I've decided I'm going to use this instead of a gold colour.
the armor is done. Surprisingly simple, isn't it? Now what we're going to have to do now is change brushes to a very fine brush and we get the um, what's the paint I'm looking for? Rhinoxide will do and this is for the shaft of the arrow and the belt and also the straps it's on the arm here okay same again on this one and the belt and the straps These straps are things that are keeping the uh, the armor um, or the wrist armor on. Oops, I've gone off completely. Completely. Oh, so I don't know if you can see there. Now all we need to do is get a Viagra Earth shade. In fact, no. What I'm going to do first of all, I'm not going to get the Agrax Earth shade. I'm going to highlight the model first of all using the Elysian Green. Um, I'm going to highlight the cape, the boots, and then I'm going to give the whole model a wash. That would be much more of a sensible option. We don't really need much inside, but because there's a raised area on pop some in. This is the part where we want on the highlights and on the shoulder and head. See when you're dry brushing like this how the paint sticks to where it wants to stick to and doesn't stick where it you know the model takes off the brush what paint it wants. And leaves behind on the brush what it doesn't. And in that way we can build up the highlights and the lowlights. Very simple, <coughs> one very simple manoeuvre. Okay, so that's that done. 
Next we'll highlight the boots with the um, shadow grey. And again, it's a dry brushing kind of thing. I don't want much paint on the brush at all. And then we just There we are, and that's the elf archer done. All that needs to happen now, oh hang on a second, there is a jewel there, I'm just going to touch a bit of the dwarf bronze on it. Okay, <coughs> so next all that we've been waiting for now is for this to dry and then we can just give it a wash over with the Agrax Earthshade. Um, now I'm not sure what to do so I'm going to leave it in your hands. Do you want me to go through videos of each of the sets that I've got. Bear in mind I've got five sets so there's after this one the Sting of Lolth and then there's uh, <coughs> Curse of Undeath, Tyranny of Goblins and then Blood of Grumsh, Grumish. I don't know how you pronounce that one. Uh, do you want a, a painting series of all of these or do you just want to see before and after shots? Um, if you can let me know would be uh, greatly appreciated. If nobody tells me, I'm going to do them. I'm not bothered. <laughs> I'm not bothered at all if I do them or I don't. Um, I'm painting them anyway, so if I do them on camera, or if I don't do them on camera, it's a material. So if I, if you if you don't want me to do it, let me know. If you're quite happy with me doing it, then don't let me know, um, and I'll just do it automatically. And if, like me, you're not bothered either way, that's fine. <laughs> right, so let's get this wash done. And all that's left now, after this, which I forgot about before, um, is just the base. 
So I don't really need to do that on camera. You've seen me do it a few times. It's just putting black around the edge of the base. Nothing special, nothing spectacular, nothing hard. And that's what she said. Um, <clears throat> I swore I wasn't going to start off with stupid jokes like that on here. Ah, uh, never mind. Right. So <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, there we are. So we have our two elf archers done. We have our war wizard. Our Dragon Knight, Human Ranger, Half Orc Thug, Halfling Sneak, Dwarf Cleric, and our Earth Defender. All we have now are two, oh, two Dwarf Defenders. Earth Guardian, not an Earth Defender, an Earth Guardian. So I just had to double check. So, so all we've got now is the Earth Defend Dwarven Defenders. <laughs> Getting mixed up. And uh, our little fella here. Our Copper Dragon. Yeah, it's his Copper Dragon. He looks a happy little soul, doesn't he? Look at that angle. Look at his little kitty face. Oh, diddums. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Yeah, right, so I'm cracking up. So, <laughs> I just need to do the three models. That's it then for um, Hearts of Cormia. So, I'll save the biggest till last because I want to double check on some paints first for that. Um, but, next time when I come back, the Dwarf Defenders will be done. Okay, so until then, take care, God bless, and bye for now.